Hello everyone, Elias5891 here with another Katain module tutorial. This time we're taking a look at the poker module, fairly recent one to come out. Um, it is very edge work heavy, so we're going to grab that information. We're going to dive into how to work this sucker. Uh, here's my bomb, edge work. We have uh, two batteries and one holder. Uh, unlit sig. Lit NSA, Lit SND, uh, I think it was a parallel on a serial port, yep. And a serial number, November India 5, Whiskey Romeo 9. Alright, uh, as a diffuser, you get an easy job. You read the card, you read text, you read card suits. Uh, expert, it's not that bad either. Uh, so the fuse is going to start out by giving you the starting card. In this case, it is the Ace of Spades. Uh, and for this, you're going to go through a flow chart, figure out what hand you have, and determine what move you want to make based on that hand. Uh, and as you can see, this flow chart, a little small for you guys. Uh, there is an additional appendix that's floating around. I don't think it's publicly available yet which is just a zoomed in version of that. Uh, so I'm going to use that because it's a little easier to read. Uh, so this is the one we want. This is on the Ace of Spades. Uh, so the idea is you're going to follow the flowchart, figure out what five cards you have. And for each one, just look at the question, go yes or no, get the next card, so on and so forth. So we start with the Ace of Spades. Are there three or more batteries? Well, no, there's not, so we're going to go down. That's the Jack of Diamonds. We're going to record that, because we'll need that later. From the Jack of Diamonds, does the serial number contain a vowel? It does. It had an I, so we go, yes, Jack of Clubs. From the Jack of Clubs here, is there an unlit car? No. So we go down. Ace of Hearts. From the Ace of Hearts, is there a parallel port? Yes, there is two of clubs. So we have ace of spades, jack of diamonds, jack of clubs, ace of hearts, two of clubs. That is two pair. Uh, if you are not familiar with poker hands, uh, there's an appendix here that does tell you what no hand pair, two pair, three of a kind, flush, so on, so on, what all these mean. Uh, but what we have here is two pair, two aces, two jacks. Uh, and according to this here, if you have a pair or two pair, press check. So we're going to tell the diffuser, all right, check. Now, upon hitting that button, it will give you a piece of text. In this case, that text is terrible play exclamation. So for stage two, we determine truth or bluff. We take our starter card, which was an ace. Uh, we take the text that we were given, terrible play, truth. Click truth. Last up. We get a poker chip and four suits. We'll need to know that. So the diffuser will tell us $100, diamond, spade, diamond, spade. Third, we go to the betting rules section here. We find the correct bet number. And like a lot of other modules we go through, find the first rule that applies. Uh, so $100 bet. Your opponent said really, really, no. Otherwise, your opponent said really, no. Otherwise, no D batteries, true. And the starter card was the Ace of Spades, also true. Press the first card. So press the first one, press the diamond. So we're going to press this, this will finish up the module. And that gets us through a poker. Let's take a look at another one. Here we go. Here's a new bomb. Let's get some new edge work for this one. Uh, no batteries. Uh, let's sig. I saw an unlit bob. Lit S and D, unlit Bob, unlit I and D. Uh, there's my alarm going off. Click. Uh, PS2 port and serial number is Juliet 63. Echo Echo Zero. Uh, and we started with the five. Oops, five of diamonds. So we'll look at this one. Five of diamonds. Uh, back up to the top. 
lights went out. I forgot to disable that, sorry. Five of diamonds. It's okay. We don't need the screen right now. We just need this chart. Eight of hearts. Five of diamonds. Are there more AA batteries than D batteries? No, we don't have any. Nine of diamonds. Or nine of diamonds. Is the last digit of the serial number odd? No, it's even. Going down. Six of diamonds. This looks like a good hand, potentially. Are there any lit indicators? Yes, there are. Seven of diamonds. Are there fewer than three ports? Yes, there's only the PS2. We go yes, that's the eight of diamonds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, all of diamonds. That is a straight flush, because you have a straight, five numbers in a row, and a flush, they're all the same suit. Again, if you don't know your term. Straight flush. Uh, for a straight flush, uh, we're going to go all in, which makes sense in poker. You, you would go all in with a straight flush, probably. Are you sure? Alright. So we look at this chart. We had a five. Are you sure? Oh, there we go. Uh, truth. Truth. Hundred dollar bet. <laughs> Diamond, 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 spade. We'll go to the hundred dollar bet. Uh, opponent said really, really, no. Opponent said really, no. No D batteries, true. Starter card, ace of spades, no. If the digits of the serial number add up to a prime number, and there's at least one heart, there's not a heart, so we'll skip the uh, adding up to a prime number, which would have been nine and false anyway. Otherwise, if a club and a spade, no, didn't have a club. Otherwise, if a club and a spade, no. Otherwise, if there's an unlit MSA, no. Otherwise, if there's at least one diamond, there is. Press the third card. Press the third one. And away we go. All right, one more. To wrap this up. Uh, we have uh, a single battery and a single holder. Uh, unlit NSA. Uh, Port-wise, we have two DVIs. Or, or, uh, or PS2s, there we go. An RCA, serial, and the serial number was Victor Zulu, Victor Zulu 7, Uniform Quebec 2. And we are starting with the 2 of clubs. 2 club. Let's refresh. Alright, uh, big chart. Two of clubs. Two of clubs. Is there a lit TRN, Bob, or IND? No, I don't have a lit version of any of those. So that's a no. Going down, three of hearts. Does the serial number contain an even number of letters? Z, Zulu, or Victor Zulu, Uniform, Quebec. It does contain an even number. We're moving up, four of hearts. Uh, we might have a straight coming again. And the four of hearts. Is there a parallel port and a serial port? No, there was not a parallel port, so we're going down. That's the six of hearts. Last up, are there more D batteries than double A's? Yes, there's one D battery, because we had one battery and one holder, and no D. So this is a yes, so we go yes, that's the five of hearts. Oh, stupid club at the beginning. But we do have a straight. With a straight, we have three kind or straight. Press min raise. Minimum raise. Really, really? So let's check our chart. Really, really? On a two. That's a bluff. So we tell him bluff. $25 bet. Diamond, spade, spade, club. $25. The first card is red. Uh, it is diamonds. And there's lit bob. Nope. Otherwise, if your opponent's at all for play, nope. Otherwise, if there's an unlit FRQ, nope. Otherwise, if there's at least one diamond, yes. And your opponent said really or really, really, yes. Press the third card. Press the third card. And that gets us through poker. Uh, now, I didn't demonstrate it, uh, but if you get a strike, you don't reset the module. You keep the same card. Just kind of continue from where you left off. 
Um, because of the interactivity on this one, it's kind of hard to give you an example to go on, so I apologize for that. Uh, which means, really, that kind of wraps up what we've got here. Um, as a side note, uh, the background is the new factory setting that should be on the workshop. Uh, it's very interesting. Works really well for this tutorial, so thought I'd give it a go. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions, as always, leave them down below, please. And until next time, guys, have fun, and don't explode. Bye.